are you wondering if Cedar Hill, Texas is a great place to live? In this video, I'm going to share with you everything that you need to know about living in Cedar Hill. I'm Robert Owen. I'm a local realtor in the Dallas, Frisco, and Fort Worth area. And if you're thinking about relocating to the Metroplex, Cedar Hill may be your place. Cedar Hill is growing in popularity and I recently had a listing in Cedar Hill and I was stunned at how really beautiful it has become. It has a population of only 49,000 people, so it is not really a large area. And one of the great things about Cedar Hill is its location. It is located centrally between Dallas and Fort Worth to the south. So there are a number of reasons why people are considering Cedar Hill and why it's growing in popularity. And we're gonna talk about some of those things in this video. So let's get started. First, let's talk about its location. The location of Cedar Hill is very desirable. It's about 16 miles southwest of Dallas. Cedar Hill's actually located in Dallas County and a little bit in Ellis County. So you have two counties there, but you only have one major highway that runs through it. You have Highway 67 right through the middle of Cedar Hill and Interstate 35, which runs both north and south off to the east. Both of those highways make it easily accessible to get to downtown Dallas very quickly and back to Cedar Hills. About 20 minutes to downtown Dallas, which is great. And it's about, it's about 40 minutes to Fort Worth. You got, got to go around the lake. And if you're traveling and utilizing either of the airports, you can easily access both airports, Love Field and DFW International Airport in about 30 minutes. So just that alone makes Cedar Hill a desirable area. And in addition to the location, you kind of hear the words Cedar Hill, and you probably think that there's a lot of hills, and you'd be absolutely right. Cedar Hills is one of those areas that is packed with hills and valleys, and you can call them Texas, Texas mini mountains. You know, it's one of those areas that's just gorgeous. One of my favorite drives going through Cedar Hill is leaving Cedar, Cedar Hill, going down Beltline Road, which goes all the way around Dallas. And you come across the top of this bluff and you get to see Joe Pool Lake and all the many miles of landscaping and scenery. It's gorgeous. And it's gorgeous in the daytime and it's gorgeous at night. Quite different from a lot of the landscape areas that you see here in other cities in the DFW area. Cedar Hill is unique because it has over 3,000 acres of preserved land and backs up to Joe Pool Lake. So lots of groups and families come to Cedar Ridge Nature Preserve. Uh, it's a park that you can go through and enjoy that, enjoy the fresh air. So. This is one of the pluses about living in Cedar Hill. Its location, the beautiful parks, the lakes, and the preserves are something that make it so desirable. Joe Pool Lake is one of my favorite lakes in all of the Metroplex. Out of the 20 lakes that are here in DFW, Joe Pool is one of my favorite. There's plenty to do in Cedar Hill. I know we've talked about the nature and hiking and the biking and the lake life that you can do there, but when you're choosing a place to live, shopping and dining usually are at the top of the list. And Cedar Hill does not disappoint. When it comes to shopping and dining, you have your, your major retailers, you have your Targets, your Best Buys, your Walmarts, your JCPenney's. But what is surprising about Cedar Hill, as small as it is, it has a variety of shopping options. So there are three major shopping areas that you can attend and, have, and, and go for some of the bigger names when it comes to shopping and dining. Okay, you have the Hillside Village, you have Pleasant Run Town Crossing, and you have the Plaza at Cedar Hill. So you also have these quaint little niche-like boutique places, like the White Rhino Coffee Place, or there's a special specialty boutique place called Plawny Hayes. They, she does like beautiful items that are custom made for her customers. 
just got to kind of see it. And I can't forget about the wonderful eating experiences, including babes. So it's a Texas thing, but if you've been to a babe's chicken, you know, you know, one of those great establishments that, you know, you just have to experience it. I'm not even going to spoil it for you. Go check out Babe's Chicken and check it out. But in Cedar Hill, it's one of those cities that it offers one of those places. And DFW does not have a Babe's Chicken in every town. So if you're living in Cedar Hill, you know, you know. And you can easily access the Rangers Ballpark or the Cowboys Stadium as well as everything that has Dallas, Dallas has to offer when it comes to culture and events and things like that. So Cedar Hill is one of those locations when where you get a little bit of both worlds. In addition to the great shopping and dining in Cedar Hill, an important factor that you want to take into account is the cost of living. Okay, so according to payscale.com, the cost of living in Cedar Hill is about 7% higher than the national average, which is not bad at all. And with that, you know your biggest cost is going to be housing costs. So as of November 2022, the median cost of a home in Cedar Hills was $391,000. Compare that to DFW median price home of $395,000. So they're about even, all right? A $391,000 budget will get you about a three to four bedroom home with about 2,500 square feet. And one of the cool things about Cedar Hill is that you have a variety of homes to purchase. You have new construction, you as well as pre-existing homes. And one of the cool things about Cedar Hill is that it has quite a few vacant lots, lots of land that you can purchase, go to those vacant lots, and you're able to buy, build a custom home, or you have the option to do the more traditional route with new construction with some of the volume builders. There are some really great builders in DFW. So you kind of have the best of both worlds as with home choices when it comes to Cedar Hill. And so we've talked about the commute time to Dallas and to Fort Worth, but say you want to live and work in Cedar Hill. The top employers in Cedar Hill are Cedar Hill Independent School District, JCPenney Distribution Center, City of Cedar Hill, and a company called Masco. Those are the top employers that are located in Cedar Hill, but you have easy access to downtown Dallas, which has an enormous amount of employers right up the Highway 67. If this is the first time to our channel and you want to know everything that there is to know about living in this great Metroplex, Dallas, Frisco, and Fort Worth and its suburbs, please subscribe to our channel Hit the bell for notifications. Another thing that is usually very important when buyers are relocating to the area is they want to know what is the crime like. And according to crimegrade.org, Cedar Hills overall crime rating is a B plus, which is not bad. It's not bad at all. If you think about its location, its proximity to the Southern part of Dallas and you get everything that you get in Cedar Hill, that's not a bad rating. And definitely keep that in mind if you're considering Cedar Hill as your next home. Of course, if you have children, one of the things that you're going to be looking at is the school district. All right, Cedar Hill Independent School District has an overall rating of a C, all right, from the Texas Education Agency. It is one of the smaller districts in the DFW area. It only has about 20, excuse me, 7,600 students. There are seven elementary schools, three middle schools, and three high schools. Do you have any questions regarding Cedar Hill? Please put them in the, the, the area below. Give us a call or a text. Our information is below, and we shall see you in the next video.